hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create this profile card in this profile card you can see the user's profile picture the name and designation some links and here we have two buttons one is for the download cv and second one for the send a message and in the top right corner you can see this share icon in this send a message button i have added the whatsapp chat link if i click here it will open the whatsapp and you can chat with the user if i click on this download cv button it will download the attached file if i click here you can see one download will start in the left bottom corner you can see the file name mycv.pdf if i click again you can see it will download this file again mycv1.pdf so in this video you will learn how to create the profile card with whatsapp chat option and download file option using html and css so let's start this video here in this folder i have added one index.html file one style.css file and i have one more folder called images and in this one i have added some images and icons that i will be using on our website and here we have one pdf file also you can find all these images download link in the video description now let me open these files with my code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding box sizing and font family in this html file i have added this link tag with href style.css so it will connect the html and css file now we will add the code in the body tag so here we will add one div with the class name container next we will add the css for this container so just add this class name here in this css file and here we will add the width and height after that we will add the background here we will add one background color code after that we will add the display display will be flex then align items and justify content after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this color on the complete web page let me close this browser and I will come back to the code editor which is Visual Studio Code and in this one I have added the extension live server using this extension I will open the web page so it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file so you can see the same web page let me close this one and here within this container we will add one div with the class name card in this card first we will add one image for the user so here we will add images file name of the image which is image.png for this image we will add one class name so let me add the class name profile img after that we will add some information about the user so here we will add one div with the class name info and within this one we will add the name in h1 tag then we will add the description in p tag after that we will add one list in ul li in this li we will add the image file path of the image so it is the location icon location.png and here we will add the one location name let me duplicate this one and here we will change the icon name it is website.png write the text website name here we will add another icon instagram after adding this we will add two buttons for that we will use links so here we will add one div with the class name links and within this one we will add one a tag and in this a tag let's add one hashtag right now and here we will add the image so here we will add img images slash then write the text it is download cv duplicate this one and here we will remove this image there will be no image in the second 
button and here we will add the text send a message after adding this again refresh the website and now you can see this user profile image the name description some icons then we have two links download cv and send a message next we have to design this one so let's come back and first we will copy this class name card and for this card we will add the css so write this class name in the css file and here we will add the background so the background will be white after that we will add the display and uh, align items next we will add some padding and width will be 900 pixel border radius will be 10 pixel now you can see white background for this card and you can see the round corners next we have to decrease the size of this profile image so let's come back and here we will add this class name which is profile img write this class name in this css file and for this one we have to add the width width will be 150 pixel then we will add the border radius it will be 50 percent so that it will be a circle then we will add the border it will be 18 pixel solid and this color code now you can see this profile image size is perfect next we will add the css for the information that we have added for the user so let's come back and here we have added the class name info just copy this one and write it here for this info we need some space from the left side so we will add margin in the left side it is 30 pixel let me change the color then we will add font weight you can see the changes in this color next we will add the css for this title here we will add info h1 for this h1 we have to change the font size it will be 26 pixel then font weight will be 500 and after that we will add the color and margin from the bottom to add some space after this we will add the css for these list so let's come back here you can see we have added ul and li for this list so here in this css file we will add info ul here we will add display flex align items center and some margin you can see it is side by side so let's come back and here we will copy this one then write li for this list items we will add list style it will be none display will be inline flex align items center then we will add font size font size will be 12 pixel which is small and then we will add some space in the right side and some space from the top so it is looking good next we have to decrease the size of these icons so let's come back and here again copy this one then write img for the icons and here we will set the size it width will be 20 pixel and some space in the right side So this line is looking good next we have to design the links that will be displayed as a button so let's come back and here we have added the class name called links just copy this one write it here for this links we will add the display flex and align items center then we will add margin then we will add links a in this a tag we will add the text decoration it will be none then display inline flex 
align items center then height height of this button will be 50 pixel then we will add the background for these button color will be white that will be the button text color border radius it will be 5 pixel then we will add border Two pixel solid and after that we will add some padding and let me add some space in the right side so font size will be 12 pixel now you can see the background of these buttons are looking good next we have to decrease the size of this image which is the download icon so let me come back and here we will add links a img we will add the width 25 pixel and margin in the right side 10 pixel so the size of this download icon is also good right now both the buttons are same so we have to remove the background color for the second button and we will change the text color of the second button so let's come back and in the second one we will add one class name here you can see we have the second link so he here we will add the class name message btn msg btn write this class name here dot links dot msg btn for this one we will add the background it will be white and uh, color that will be the text color now you can see the second button is also looking good next we will add the shared icon so let's come back and here in this html file within this card here we will add one image img images slash share dot png and here we will add one class name share icon like this for this class name we will add this CSS so here we will add this class name share icon and for for this one we will add the width 40 pixel you can see this icon over here so we have to change the position of this icon so let's come back and here in this card we will add the position relative after that let's come back to the bottom and here we will add the position absolute then we will add the top 20 pixel right 25 pixel and background then we will add some padding border radius will be 50% cursor will be pointer now you can see the perfect position for this share icon after adding all the contents next we have to add the downloadable file in this button and we will add the whatsapp chat link in this second button for that let's come back and here in this html file we have added a tag within this href we will add the file path of the file that we want to attach with this button so here we will add the file path images slash mycv.pdf so this is the file that i want to attach with the button and after that we will add download like this and in this second button we have to add the whatsapp link so within this href we will add https wa dot me slash then write the phone number with the country code like this one write your phone number like this and then there will be one more thing target 
underscore blank so it will open the whatsapp chat in the new tab after adding this let's refresh the website again and here you can see here you can see if i click on the send message button it will open the whatsapp chat and if i click on this download cv it will uh, start downloading the attached file you can see one file in the left bottom corner of this window it is mycv.pdf so this is how you can create the profile card using html and css and attach the downloadable file in your web page i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video